guys. How you doing? So the video we're about to do has two of my favorite rappers on it. Royster59 and J. Cole. This is off of Royster's new album, Book Orion. It is, I don't even know if I'm going to say this right. Boblo Boat? It's <laughs> a tongue twister. But anyway, I haven't heard the song. I actually own the Book Orion, but I have purposely not listened to all the songs because I've wanted to react from them. Um, so yes, first time I've heard the song, first time I've seen the video, let's get it. And let's pray it doesn't get duck. It doesn't get cut down by copyright. I didn't find any copyright on this, so pray for me. Cruising down the river, dancing till your feet got numb. Cool summer breezes blowing through your hair as you stood gazing down the river in anticipation of the thrill of the dizzying rides at the amusement. Low key, those animals were freaking me the fuck out. Oh my god. Who's this? This is, um... <laughs> oh my god, what's his name? I cannot remember his name. Um... He played the father in what sitcom? Damn it. I can't remember his name. You guys tell me down in the comments because I can't remember this dude's name. It's driving me crazy. Tell me down in the comments, okay? I'm going to feel like an idiot too when you tell me. This late at night, my brain doesn't work very well. Here we go. Mark. Ah, memories of Boblo Island. Oh, it's Boblo. Okay, sorry for the beginning, guys. Boblo boat. Oh, it's your world. I ain't nothing but a squirrel trying to get a nut. Just jealous of everybody that's headed out on that Boblo boat. It is the perfect weather, the perfect time to enjoy a few snacks. Oh, man. I wish I was joining you with a little cheese and crackers, a little can I wine, a little Rio Medio on ice, some Harvey Bristol Green. But let's do this only on Smooth and Ill. Nothing compared to our family trips. My uncle shook hands with the manly grip. All this hand me down shit I had had an uncanny fit. All the gangsters I had in my family had me any bitch. My granddaddy mistress caught the business from my granny fist. That was back before I was born. Pop told stories about it that would last for hours long. And as a family, we was just so happy when him and mama got along. On our way to that black amusement park, wood roller coasters, crack sold on plastic scooter cars. Smoking grass at the vintage food court, broken glass waiting on you on the swimming pool floor. I came across my identity on the Bablo boat. That's where I lost my virginity. No condom though. That I'm sorry. This might be total ignorance on my part, but when he went, hold on. How exactly did he say it? Uh, a few snacks. Oh man, I wish I was joining you with a little cheese and crackers, a little can I wine, a little Rio Medio on ice, some Harvey Bristol Green. But let's do this only on Smooth and Ill. Nothing compared to our family trips My uncle shook hands with the manly grip All this hand-me-down shit I had had an uncanny fit All the gangsters I had in my family had me any bitch My granddaddy mistress caught the business from my granny fist That was back before I was born Pop told stories about it that would last for hours long And as a family we was just so happy when him and mama got along uh, On our way to that black amusement park Wood. That's it Black Amusement Park. I mean, this might be my ignorance, but do they have amusement parks that are race-based? I mean, they have amusement parks just for...
black people. I've never heard of that before. I I mean, I literally have never heard about that before. That's that's crazy. I don't know. You guys tell me down in the comments. Is that something that, that's real that actually happens? Okay. Roller coasters, crack sold on plastic scooter cars. Smoking grass at the vintage food court. Broken glass waiting on you on the swimming pool floor. I came across my identity on the Pablo boat. That's where I lost my virginity. No condom though. That's when paranoia hit me like when superstition does. Left my inhibitions, I guess what my supervision was. Parties on the way to the island would be the liveest though. First time Big Bro hit the bottle was on the Pablo boat. But neither one of us knew that we would both grow up and turn to alcoholics though. Pablo boat. Some of my better times I share with you. I share with you. Yeah. Shit. All of my better days I share with you. I share with you. Shit. And now I gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Shit. Stuck inside a bad brain. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up again. Sucks fat crazy. Yeah. Look, twist the cap, lift the bottle back, swig it, dig it. Ten inch rims on my mama civic. Ten inch woofers in the trunk to be specific. They bump. Rather the license plate plus the windows tinted Don't even give a fuck that it's tinted Bitch, I'm the man, now I'm rolling Driving it slow as if it's stolen Piling up clothes like we was clothing on a dresser Calling up hoes like we was Jodeci, let's check her Double D's like double deckers, I wanna sex her But these keys don't come with game on how to finesse her Five semesters left until college, I'm under pressure I'm not a real nigga till I undress her I gotta press her This was my main concern back when concerns were lesser Nowadays I often yearn to press the Backspace put on a hit return But life is not no word processor Most folks would burn the cess to burn the stressor My real life drama plus fickle niggas Thinking they done heard the best of Jermaine Lamar but that's insane and couldn't be further left of The truth is that my new shit slap You never heard it better Give me a sec I murder sectors Prefer to let ya See it rather than say it but it spill out I gotta chill out Say fuck the world and never pull out We had no Bob no boat But I can note those signs just like the Bible Bible quote, VC before cell phones, the first time I would smoke, I was six years old, but that's for another chapter, that's for another story, to God be the glory, I made it out unscathed, and now I sunbathe with my son in Tanzania and sun rays, thinking about them days, thinking about them days. God damn, J. Cole, man. Whew. You know, I love J. Cole, and I love Royce to Five Nine, and Eminem, and Boogie, and I'm just saying, there's a, a very, I've said this before, there's a very small class of rappers, Jay-Z is one, Nas is one, um, of course, Tupac and Biggie, all of them can paint a picture so vividly that you feel like you're right there in it. I mean, they just paint it so well. These storyteller rappers are, I mean, it just, it's a gift. And not all rappers can do it. But there are a few that can tell a story and just place you right there. I mean, it's crazy. Let's go.
up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up again. <laughs> he's got a smile on his face. He's like, yeah, I got some. I got some. What were y'all doing while I was getting some? Huh? Oh, my goodness. Such a good song. I'm so glad we decided to do that. Oh, now let's hope and pray it just stays up. Because <laughs> you never know. <clears throat> I mean, I check copyright on all the songs I do, and it, even it doesn't matter how much due diligence I do, um, I always, once in a while, catch a video and get it blocked. But, um, yeah, let's just hope this, that it doesn't happen with this one. Um, awesome. Royce was, as usual, fantastic. J. Cole... Oh, his source was fire, but in the end, it just paints you a picture of the way things were, and that's what I love the most about it. I hope you guys liked it, too, and um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and you guys have a fantastic night, and don't forget to take care of each other, because no one else is going to, right? Ciao.